those games. All right, let's get out to the Bronx now to Meredith Morakovitz with the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. Meredith, it has been a tough spot for this Yankees roster as of late. Ryan, there is no doubt about it and no time like the present for some newcomers to step up. But when you look at the Yankees rotation in particular, man, have they suffered some blows over the last three days. Domingo Herman placed on the injured list with right shoulder inflammation. We learned last night Garrett Cole tested positive for COVID. And as Jack mentioned, Jordan Montgomery tested positive as well. So with all that being said, I asked Aaron Boone what they are going to do as far as the pitching staff is concerned moving forward. We're truly day by day right now, hour by hour. So um, in the meantime, Stephen Ridings and Brody Corner have also been called up um, today. So they are, you know, part of the bullpen tonight. Um, and we'll see. Um, we'll just see where, where the week and, and the games take us. We're missing two of our best guys and guys that have just consistently gone out there and given us a great effort and guys who want to be out there more than anyone. And, you know, going through this stretch right now and, you know, the, the calendar flipped to August. Obviously, we want Garrett and Monty taking the ball every single time they can. So um, it's definitely not easy. But at the same time, like, you know, at this point, there's just nothing we can do to get him back for a little while. So we have to make do. Hopefully we can put up some runs and get some zeros and, and contributions from guys that, you know, maybe we weren't expecting to need contributions from. But at this point, like, they're going to have to play a big part. The Yankees were forced to be very active when it came to roster moves today. Take a look at all the moves they were forced to make. Aaron Boone has some more options when it comes to pitching, so they are, in fact, covered there. But you heard Jamison Tyone say they're going to need contributions from some unexpected pieces. That really starts tonight with Luis Heal. I spoke with Yankees pitching coach earlier about Heal and what he saw from him throughout spring training. He's definitely an exciting prospect. He's got a lot of arm talent, and I think for him, it's really a matter of controlling the strike zone. So I think we're going to try and give him, you know, you know, the, the best opportunity to just be aggressive in the strike zone tonight and, you know, simplify the game plan for him. But, you know, it's a great opportunity for him and us to get a look at him. You know, we really haven't seen him since spring training. So, you know, it should be an exciting night for us. I imagine there will be a lot of nerves on his behalf. What do you tell him before he goes out there? You know, he's as talented as anybody we have. It's just a matter of him throwing the ball over the plate and just being aggressive and you know it's the same game he's been playing all season so it's just a little bit different uh, atmosphere around this park so but at the end of the day you know he wouldn't be here if we didn't believe in him so hopefully he goes out there and pitches a you know an aggressive game for us how was he when he walked into the clubhouse today and you spoke to him for the first time he was he was comfortable it was good i think he recognized a lot of the faces in the room and that's something that we you know we pride ourselves on in spring training is making sure those guys feel comfortable when they're around us and then when they get to new york you know they know who they can talk to who's in the building with them and ultimately it's just a matter of making them feel a part of the group as quick as possible that has been a crazy year for everyone involved how stressful has this year been for you not knowing who you're going to have available on a daily basis you know we just continue to roll with the punches you know it's you could stress about it and worry about it but at the end of the day we really can't do much about it so at the end of the day we're just trying to you know figure out who's the next man up and who's pitching tonight and then we'll solve tomorrow's problem and just keep rolling